Hello everyone and welcome to Usability. Today we are going to see how to play Left to Survive on PC using the brand new BlueStacks 5 that is designed for blazing fast speed and high octane action. We will be able to easily download and install Left to Survive and enjoy the game on our Windows PC with keyboard, mouse and big screen thanks to BlueStacks 5, which is the Android emulator that we recommend to play Left to Survive. So without further ado, let's get to it. Before anything else buddies, the first thing to do is to open our favorite internet browser. We selected the one we prefer. Let's continue, going to the current URL that I have highlighted in green. Now, you are able to discover on the screen of the PC. You don't need to type anything, because there's the link in the video description and the first pinned comment. We arrived there on our own website of Usatility, in which we get our in-depth information on the way to download Left to Survive on PC. We browse lower a tad and simply click on the Download Game on PC button. After we click on this link, we reach the site of BlueStacks, which the Android emulator that we will load to enjoy the game Left to Survive on PC. As you can see here we have several advantages of running that emulator. Then, we are ready to proceed to download the left to survive by simply clicking on the button play on blue stacks that I have marked in green color. We then click on it. Of course, the download step starts and ends immediately. Voila, this is the download. It is an executable file. The following step is to launch the executable file, so we click on this file. Windows 10 users will be asked for permission to allow changes to the system. We said yes. I reduced the internet browser to view the installation software much better. The installation software is very simple to use. It includes two options, install, and setup path. I will show you what setup path does indeed. We simply click on it. And now we note that we they got here the path in which the emulator is going to be set up. If we plan to change for better this folder we must click on the browse button, and now we decide on another directory and install the emulator where we wish. I prefer to leave it by default. I simply click on back. And therefore I simply click install. Great. The setup commences and it will move forward together with the download of those MB which are displayed on the screen. Once you save it on your machine, it may be more or less megabytes. The data transfer rate might go faster or at a lower speed, based on your type of access to the web and depending on the efficiency of the emulator hosting servers. Immediately they're running incredibly fast. The download is finished, and now it proceeds with the installation phase. With BlueStacks 5 you can even reduce RAM usage with a single click. Especially useful if you ever face performance related problems. In addition, you can activate Eco Mode to enjoy 87% reduced CPU usage, 97% reduced GPU usage and easier multitasking. As you can see, BlueStacks 5 is built to provide stability and performance during long gaming sessions. The installation has already finished for me. At this point, the emulator happens to be launched immediately. As you will notice, at the bottom of the screen, we have a progress bar that will fill up so when it has reached the finish, the emulator is started for the first time. The reality is the emulator has been launched, here for the first time. Before we continue on, as you will notice, it made two icons right here on the computer desktop. The BlueStacks and BlueStacks Multi Instance. Note that the BlueStacks software icon is the one we are considering. At any time when we want to operate left to survive on our desktop or laptop, we double click on this specific app icon and as a result launch the emulator. The BlueStacks multi instance icon allows you to launch multiple emulator instances. And with BlueStacks 5's new improved multi instance manager in eco mode, players can run more game instances faster and with less lag. We should conduct the next phase, that is a requirement, and that's to log on to the Google Play Store. And we are going to just click on Play Store. As you will notice the Google Play is started. In this case we need to log on. At present once we are right here, we are required to perform this following step which is mandatory. Therefore we simply click on, sign in. At this point it shows, checking info. It may in some cases get stuck in, checking info, additionally it fails to progress. In that case, you may try to connect to your account after a few hours and it may usually be resolved. At this point we're going to type our email and password. The email ought to be a Gmail email address as well as its corresponding password. For example you may use the exact same email address you are using at this time in your YouTube account so that I am going to insert my info and I will come back as soon as I have completed it. That's all, info inserted. And here is Google welcoming us and providing us their twos. We can accept them simply by hitting, I agree. After that, it makes it possible to backup to the Google Cloud. You might leave it selected and this will build a backup of the data files on this device to Google Drive. I will not select it, you can make use of this feature if you prefer. We mouse click on accept. The Google Play Store is started without need to open it manually and instantly. To set up the app game, we have got to get to the Android emulator desktop by clicking on this icon marked green colored. Today that we are discovering the desktop of that emulator, we notice that we now have right here the install app option. We click on the button. Right here we have got the video game. Let's quickly click on now on the install choice that I am just highlighting now in green. Therefore it will commence the setup. At this time it should download on your desktop or laptop and set up the game app, it may take a while or it could possibly be amazingly quickly. It all relies on our own internet connection. It's actually finished setting up. Back to the emulator desktop by pressing the following button that I'm presenting in green, that allows you to use left to survive for the first time. I am by then on the emulator desktop, and then we are preparing to simply click on that brand new left to survive app icon that has been created. 
That game app is launched for the first time. Currently there we get it, I can also press anywhere on the screen and also make use of the keyboard. I am going to discuss the sound level of the emulator. It's here. We have got the icon of higher volume along with the icon of lower volume, this manner we will not depend on the Windows volume to increase or decrease the sound of this emulator. As well as to take pleasure in the experience to the max, we should turn on the large monitor, for which we have two choices. That is actually the very first one, we just click on this particular icon which I am identifying in green. Then the monitor is maximized, experiencing one border on top, one on the right side and the third one at the bottom. Supposing that we would like to run the video game using all the screen, we select this particular application icon. And we might without a doubt be enjoying the game app in full screen setting. To quit the 100% screen mode, press the F11 key. And we might currently be in regular computer screen setting. At this moment I am choosing to demonstrate you the computer keyboard mapping that is actually rather enjoyable. That way we will be capable to utilize the game application more easily. The first thing is to press this computer keyboard icon. And right now there you will have the ability to complete the required configuration settings. I'm going to let the standard settings, but if you desire to modify it, you may well do it without any problem. Clearly, the emulator is entirely in our language. In some cases it happens that your emulator is started in the improper language, for example, in Chinese. Then to place it in the correct language we go there to the cogwheel. So there throughout additional options, we simply click on the language drop down. We will go with the language we prefer, English, Chinese, and so forth. When the language is selected, we are going to save, the emulator would restart, and the Android game, the next time we run it, will of course be in the preferred language. At this time, you can find another thing that we will need to take into consideration, and it is that we will get a message from Google Mail telling that a new device has been linked to our Google account. It will certainly ask us if we are the individuals who have connected that electronic device. Yup, we shouldn't worry, as the emulator is simulating an Android device. And then to find which electronic device is currently being emulated, we arrive right here, to the cogwheel and we then click on it. And so we browse here to the, model, selection. And right here we notice that the emulator is acting as a Samsung mobile. And so we're going to receive an email saying that a new Samsung device has been connected to our Google account. This is it guys, so much for my training. I anticipate you liked it, especially that everyone thought it was useful. If so, offer it a great thumb up, subscribe, and any feedback, questions or ideas, put them in the comment box below. You also can leave comments on my Twitch channel, I perform live streams occasionally, you have it listed below in the video description and in the first pinned comment. Just click on any of these videos which are usually showing up on the screen and see you in the upcoming videos. Bye.